as I said, I, I didn't really want to go to school, or maybe I didn't say that, but I didn't really want to go to Juilliard. Um, so when he stopped me after my classical speech and told me that's not what Shakespeare had intended, I saw this big Santa Claus coming down to the foot of the stage, and I didn't even know who he was. Just, you know, this rotund, white-haired, bearded man. Then when we started school, he was um, imposing, and then he became frightening. Um, he, and I don't know where that, I mean, how he instilled fear in all of us, but he certainly did in me. I think that I, I could never bring myself to call him John. And after we spent eight years together, four years at Juilliard and four years with the acting company, I still could not call him John. Everybody else did. But I, I think maybe one or two of us could not bring ourselves to call him John. He, um was magnificent and uh, scary. Again, two vulnerable 18 and 19 year old kids. Um, one day I said hello to Mr. Hausman in the, in the new building and it was an elevator full of people and he turned around and said, Louise Brunichow said you're the most illiterate person she's ever met, reducing me to three inches tall and embarrassing me in an elevator full of strangers. And those are the kind of experiences that I had with Mr. Hausman. Um, he wanted to throw me out of school uh, on several occasions. <laughs> oh. And uh, I'm not quite sure that he was ever even fond of me until a board member of the acting company told me to my face, I put my money on you. And I think that had to turn around Mr. Hausman because they were giving him money to put on the plays. But in school, I didn't, I didn't get a whole lot of support from Mr. Hausman.